My name is uh, Anders Stalsgren. I'm a professor in veterinary uh, public health at the University of Copenhagen. Uh, I have a background actually in Asian Africa going back to the early 90s where I did my own PhD with shrimp farms in uh, southern Thailand. So it was an excellent opportunity for me to come into the seed project, both drawing upon that experience and other experiences we've had on food safety and public health uh, issues in relation to agriculture. Um, in seed, uh, this is the work package I'm, I'm leading. And some of our main findings are that uh, the products and commodities we're studying in seed are uh, the shrimp, the pangashus, and also the tilapia filling. Uh, the quality of these products are actually very, very good. And if we look on the alerts uh, reported in by the EU member countries, we have very, very few alerts relating to occurrence of pathogens. And compared to produce like pork, poultry, eggs, etc., the risk for, for uh, EU consumers consuming these products is much, much lower actually uh, when it comes to risk for, for disease compared with, with, with these other meat uh, products. So, so that has been a main finding. Another main finding is that we have quite a substantial use of different types of chemicals. This may be disinfectants, it may be probiotics, and it may also be antibiotics. Um, we don't see a lot of residue problems where we have seen problems, we also see rapid changes. So there's a general trend of, uh, in, in particular in some of the countries, that they move away from, from using a lot of these chemicals. A good example there is shrimp production in Thailand, where we see a very, very little use of antibiotics today. Um, also, where, where we do have use, uh, we can really see room for improvements. Uh, farmers are spending a lot of, lot of money on, uh, on, on these different chemicals, but also on the feed supplements. And it's really questionable to, to what effect they get benefits out of that. So uh, there's definitely room for a win-win situation where farmers can reduce cost and they can probably increase efficiency in their use by having more prudent and uh, pr proper use.